at a price around 1100 Danish kroner for only 35 centiliters. Anias Gin is among the most expensive gins out there. And the question is, of course, is it worth it? Well, let's check it out. Hi guys, and welcome to this very exclusive episode of High on Gin. A couple of days ago, I had the pleasure of meeting up with Mike Lawson, a young gin enthusiast with a very impressive gin collection, and Kenneth Nielsen, that is the co-owner of GinBoutique.dk, and is the reason why Mike and I got our hands on this very exclusive gin. We met up online to taste the gin together. Anias Gin is an Austrian gin that is made by Schnapsbrennerei Rochelt. I hope I pronounce your name right. The distillery is run by the second generation of the Rochelt family that has been known for making some of the finest fruit brandies in Tyrol. The gin was originally made as a birthday gift to Alexander Reiner's wife, Anja. Alexander is the master distiller and the son-in-law of the uh, founder, uh, Günther Rochelt. The first batch was only 20 liter, but the result was so good that they decided to continue the production. And the gin is based on their Gravenstein apple brandy and then distilled with local juniper berries. So only two ingredients in this gin here. And as a footnote, Gravenstein apples are actually declared the national apple of Denmark in 2005. And here's a bit of history because Gravenstein was imported into Denmark by Count Frederick Ehlenfeld the Younger, who lived between 1662 and 1708. And he brought the apples uh, home to his family's Gostein Palace, and the apple cultivar uh, was named Gostein or Gravenstein. Gostein Palace is today the summer residence to the royal Danish family. Well, enough about that, back to the gin. The foundation for the gin is uh, Rochelle's uh, apple brandy that is made with hand-picked uh, Gravenstein apples from the uh, southwestern region of Styria in Austria that offers perfect climate conditions uh, for the apples to develop this subtle flavor uh, through the variation between you know, very hot summer days and very cool summer nights. When they're harvested, at the end of each day, the fresh apples are mashed on site to ensure absolutely freshness and then placed into these special vats. <clears throat> and within a few hours, natural yeast on the fruit's skin uh, starts uh, to transform fruit sugar into alcohol in a process known as natural fermentation. So no artificial yeast is added, although it could have been speeding up the process but not here. Time is not an issue here at this distillery. When the fermentation process is complete, the mash is then uh, distilled very slowly twice. The first run uh, produces what is known as the low wine. And this is then distilled a second time to extract the actual distillate, the so-called heart. To produce one liter of heart, they use up to 80 kilos of apples. The distillate is then left to mature in glass balloons for up to 10 years, giving the flavors a chance to fuse with the alcohol and create this very special taste. 10 years. And since the top of the glass balloons are only covered with a piece of linen cloth, uh, over time, uh, a certain proportion of the alcohol contained in the distillate evaporates. You know, this is uh, known as the angel's chair. I love that expression. To make the gin, local juniper berries are hand-picked and hand-sorted. And no more than approximately 10% of the wild juniper berries uh, can be used as they only want um, the ones that has this brownish blue color with this red shimmer as these has the highest concentration uh, of essential oils and therefore the most flavor. The juniper berries are then mixed with this 
up to 10 year old uh, matured Gravenstein apple brandy and then distilled very slowly one more time. And the result is this, a very super intense apple based gin. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Wow, the gin. In the nose, you get this intensity of the apples, this sweetness, this juiciness, and this woody, earthy notes. You know, almost like the gin had been maturing in a cask. I don't particularly notice the juniper berries in the nose, but you know, I would have loved to be able to compare the gin with the apple brandy that it is based on. And when you taste it, Boom! Wow! This concentration of apples, it is so intense. This bright burst of crisp, sweet apples is, you know, sent into orbit by this 50% ABV that elevates this taste explosions. Simply wow! The junipers are definitely helping out here, providing this, I don't know, mineral taste or this earth in it that really balances these sweet apples. And the aftertaste, it just goes on and on and on and on. In my opinion, this is a sipping gin and not with an ice cube, as I think the ice cube really ruins the experience. But, you know, just serve it at room temperature like this. You know, you could make a very expensive gin and tonic with this. I've tried this with a Mediterranean tonic and it opens the experience up from being this very intense bouillon cube of taste into this, you know, more open and toned down symphony of apples and juniper and sweetness. And I love it also as a gin and tonic. To be fair, my dear wife is not a big fan as I am, as it reminds her a bit of brandy or whiskey or cask aged gin, which she's not that fond of. So if you're not fond of these woody notes, this gin would probably not be for you, but for me, and for people who love these woody notes, this, this is the So, is it worth the money? To me, yes. I love this story. I love this amazing bottle that comes from a, a Trudeauian pitcher a bottle developed more than 250 years ago. I love this stopper and I love the result, the gin inside. I really do. This is what Rolex is to a watch or Manolo Blahnik is to women's shoes. And it's still much cheaper. And who would have thought that I would use the word cheap in an episode like this. So here is to craftsmanship, to all the master distillers that goes to any length to give us these amazing experiences. And especially to you, ginboutique.dk. Here is to you for going so far to get a few special bottles to Denmark. You guys rock. Your hard work with these special editions are highly appreciated. Until next time.